Hey everyone, it's Tico, and for today's uh, advanced tarot tutorial, I'm going to be talking about a couple really basic principles of Gematria um, and how we could use those with the major arcana cards. Gematria really ties into Kab Kabbalism, which in letters of an alphabet are assigned numerical value. And so then by uh, manipulating the numbers, we're able to find different like word associations. We're going to do the same thing with the major arcana here, right? And just focus on the numbers of, you know, 0 through 21 that are assigned to them on the cards. Okay, so the basic principles are what they call uh, addition and reduction. So addition is probably really straightforward. If you have a 2 and you had a number 2 or a 2 and a 3, right? A 2 and a 2 would then equal the number 4. So then we can start looking at those types of associations. Also, if you had, you know, a one and a three, that would equal the number four, right? Uh, for reduction is when we take a, using the same principles, but we're gonna take, use it to take a larger number and make it smaller. Okay, so let's say for instance, you had the number 123 and you wanted a single digit number. Uh, with the principles of Gematria, you would go one plus two plus three. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So that really large number now has reduced down to a single digit number. So this affords us with some, some fun, interesting associations, more for your own study and for a layer of like understanding the major arcana, especially in like reading with them. Um, I'm, let's just do some fun examples right here. So what's really interesting, like this is an interesting one, like so the devil. The devil is number 15, okay? If we were going to use the reduction principle here, we would go 1 plus 5, that equals 6. And our 6 major arcana card is the lovers. So there's inherently, just based off the numerology, some type of association here between these two cards. And so this was really known um, as the Golden Dawn, you know, was um, commissioning these paintings, right, for sure. So that's why I really like the Golden Dawn deck because the artwork there holds a lot of the symbolism, you know. But so just taking a really close look, you can definitely see that, yes, these cards are somehow related, whether this is a principle of, like, freedom and restriction or a lighter side or a dark side, right? Um, let's look at another interesting one. Let's go... Let's do an addition here. Eight, strength, plus nine, the hermit. Eight plus nine. Well, this would give us the star, 17. All right, so already you can see an association with the star or with these two cards, right? We could say maybe like courage to follow our own path. Is going to bring us healing okay or you know inner strength to put our trust in a higher divine source so that's an example of how that might work right there okay um, let's look at another reduction one uh, I'm just kind of flipping through cards here So there's two, there's different ways you could use the numerology here. So let's just take death card here, 13, right? So if we want to reduce it, 3 plus 1, there's going to be an association here then with 4, the emperor, right? And it's interesting because in the art, in the picture, it's hard to see, there's a king over here, or an emperor maybe, right? Dethroned. So what, 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 you know, so these, these are really open just to, to open up our mind. These are some things that you might want to put in your uh, tarot notebook as exercises for you just to do. So what could the association there be? What could that be? Well, you know, what's our stability or for death? Well, this is that natural process, that cycle, that death and rebirth. 
you know, so you could say that maybe no matter how stable things are, you know, psychically, everything that is stable will become unstable. That could be one way to look at it, right? Or we could say that, you know, the emperor has ruling over um, maybe the physical or the material plane and death, one of these esoteric forces, regardless of how much control or strength you has, still topples it. So that's just another, you know, an idea of an association there you could do. Um, we could also maybe do some equations with the cards as well, then using some of these principles, right? So let's say 13. Uh, I'm just going to pull some other ones here. Where's my hierophant? Where'd he go? Oh, here we go. Okay. So here's a five, right? And five plus eight. Where'd my strength go again? It's around here somewhere. I just had this. Now I have cards everywhere all over the table, right? Here we go. All right. Here's our eight, right? So we have a strength in the Hierophant. So like, you know, these, this is some, some divine hidden esoteric process here, right? And of course, the strength card coming from, you know, facing our demons, letting go some fears may be associated with this. So that's one way to look at it. They, so, uh, you know, strength plus hierophant can equal our death card. Um, let's do another one. 13, 10, and 3. So we could say the Empress what, you know, in the Wheel of Fortune together. So natural growth cycles, the cycle is between life, growth, and death, ending. So there's an example there of how we can look at some of those equations. And um, it's more just to play around with, have fun with, and come up with some associations. I'm trying to think if I should maybe do one more. Um, sure, we'll do one here. Tower, number 16. I'm just going to do a reduction. Tower 16, 1 plus 6 is 7. And 7 is our chariot, tier. Chariot, right? And the chariot represents, you know, a balance of opposing forces and also movement, momentum, action, okay? And we see this all represented. So here we have our, our male and female energies, the yin and yang, and here they are represented again, right? So that this card, there is a connection here, just numerologically, by using that reduction. And so when the tower comes up, we can know that it's also related to the chariot, that there's this, there's this momentum here. So... As an example, um, it's something fun to play around with. And please feel free to let me know um, any really interesting or unique associations that you come up with. I'll be really curious to hear them. So um, there's your tarot tutorial and infinite blessings.